Hello and welcome. We are all waiting for the next release of Ravenfield, but that doesn't mean that we can't play the current version. In this video I will show you 10 things to do in Ravenfield, as it is now, to mix up some gameplay. If you like the idea of Ravenfield metagaming, give this video a like and of course subscribe so I know I'm not wasting your time. 10 things to do. Think of them as personal challenges and game modes to change the pace of the game and make it enjoyable in many more ways other than the default game mode. Number 1. Kamikaze This challenge will give you an adrenaline kick. Just try it out. Grab a helicopter and instead of shooting the enemy, fly and crash into an enemy aircraft. Sometimes you'll survive, but most of the time the two of you will blow up in honorable, sacrificial defense, of course. I recommend Island due to its small size for this and recommend Reverse Mode as this will allow you to move the tank and let the helicopter spawn. Then just get in and lurk upon the enemy helicopter. If you have trouble staying alive in the air before finishing your mission, it's fair to turn down the AI level to easy. In general, I did most of these challenges in separate videos, so make sure to check them out, you can find the links in the video description. Number 2. Melee Try a regular game or one with reduced bot count on island in which you use nothing but the wrench. With easy AI you have some chance of survival even and if you get the golden wrench it will be even easier. So use the regular wrench and challenging AI for maximum challenge. I have the impression so far that enemies tend to forget about your existence once you get behind cover. So make sure to use fences, rocks and walls to your advantage and then rush them while they're distracted. You won't be capturing all bases this way, but you might still win by score. You can repair vehicles with a wrench of course, but this will be hardly relevant. The most important part is to put the metal stick into the red gooey block that the enemy calls their head. If you do decide to get the super wrench after all, just type IC Gold in the main menu. Number 3. Jump the gun. This is another helicopter challenge. The important part here is that you are alone in the chopper and don't let a teammate board it with you. Next, you seek out some targets, get high into the air and press the F2 key to switch to the gunner seat. It will take a second or two until you can actually use the weapon and once you do, try to take down as many targets as possible. Just keep spraying it. Press F1 to quickly switch back to the pilot seat and hope you have enough leeway to not crash and get back up. As with any helicopter challenge, you're encouraged to start with easy AI at first. Since Easy AI is much less aggressive with their rocket launchers, you have a much higher chance at surviving this. Once you get better, set it to challenging, of course. One hint, while switching to the gunner seat, make sure you are accelerating upwards. This way you get a few extra seconds, maybe two, maybe three. Number four, snipe a helicopter. This one requires patience and dedication, and most likely slow motion as well. Press the B key to enable it. If you use the SL Defender, the AWP of Ravenfield, the heavy and slow sniper rifle, you can shoot through the cockpit glass. This one is easier to pull on island because there's more cover, but you can do it on Dust Bowl as well. Just make sure to reverse teams as it seems that the original red base reduces the probability of bots taking the helicopter, which is a bit off the spawn point. Your sniper hideout should at least have a rock to hide behind, otherwise you'll be taken down by rockets, the helicopter's machine gun 
or even faraway soldiers in no time. Taking down an aircraft with a bullet sure is satisfying work though, so enjoy! The best way to train this, I think, is to do it on island, not reverse teams, jump into the helicopter, fly on top of a hill and wait until somebody actually takes the helicopter from the enemy team and then try to snipe it while it is lifting off. This is cheap and too easy, but it's good training, so just do it if you have trouble shooting helicopters hitting the pallet. Number 5. Race the clock. This game mode turns the rules upside down completely. You need to start a map with zero bots, that's right, no enemies, and use either map to get into the helicopter and go as fast as you can, capturing all the flags. The final destination needs to be the enemy base and the timer stops once you touch the red flag. You'll have to time yourself. This is easiest done by recording a video, of course. You can use the M key to show the map to confirm that you actually captured all flags along the way. I made that mistake a bunch of times too often. So as you can see, there are many modes to invent and add that enhance and change the gameplay. If you have your own ideas, please write a comment. Number 6. Get the Golden Helicopter It's easy to make a helicopter golden, that is, if you're fine with it blowing up immediately or if you don't mind a teammate flying away in it while it's being painted. But it is a challenge to get into a still-functioning golden helicopter and fly away. For this you need to type IC Gold in the main menu and then equip the super wrench. On Dust Bowl it is not too hard to push the helicopter into a direction that will allow it to only take a little bit of damage but survive the attack. On island, however, it is not as easy. Also, I swear it is possible to make the helicopter do a flip and survive, but I just can't seem to be able to do it a second time if my life depended on it even. By the way, it turns out that the helicopter model is based on the Eurocopter Tiger, a real-world small attack helicopter. And it makes a guest appearance in Intruder, an online stealth first-person shooter that Steel Raven 7 is quite fond of. Number 7. Base Defense This one is a huge game-changer. Make an imbalanced game in favor of the enemy, pick assault mode and get into the trenches. I recommend reverse mode on both island and dust bowl, as the initial red checkpoints seem more like defendable bases and are laid out more suitable to the challenge. The goal is to survive as long as you can. There's no realistic way to win by score. You also shouldn't try to take other bases, that's not what this is about. If you seem to be unable to die or lose your flag, adjust the team balance. If this is too hard, reduce the spawn timer. An extreme game mode version is possible through the use of a cheat tool, which will enable you to shoot forever without interruption and make the teams even more imbalanced. Of course you should disable vehicles, unless you want to use the tank and pretend you're playing a turret defense game. Number 8. Versus. One versus one, two versus two, etc. This is surprisingly fun to try. Start a game with only one bot, fully balanced to the red team, and start hunting. Try it once with vehicles and completely overpower the enemy, then give it a shot with vehicles disabled. You will most likely not fail, so start enhancing the gameplay by restricting yourself to specific weapons like the shotgun, the pistol or grenades. Two versus two, 3 vs 3, these game modes are fun as well. Just remember to turn the team balance slider appropriately. For a bigger challenge, try 1 vs 5, etc. Number 9. Get through the gate. 
The second to last challenge is insanity to me. It is impossibly hard and how the hell even is anybody able to go through this without touching ground or wall. This is the final hardcore chopper flight skill test of the game for sure. Let me know if you make it, I barely ever do. If you can't tell, the mission here is to go on island and fly through the gate at the middle base. It is possible, but damn is it hard. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, number 10, tanks versus helicopters. This one is a relaxing bit of game gold. You simply get into a tank, you get into some nice and cozy position, and maybe even grab a wrench for repairs, and then you just wait for something to appear in the air and you shoot, shoot, shoot. As opposed to helicopter sniping, you should try doing this without slow motion. No need to make it too easy, you know. Lead the helicopter and you should have no trouble hitting it. The perfect way to let off steam when you're frustrated about a release date being soon but unknown, or if you're failing school because you can't stop playing Ravenfield. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, today is your day. Of course, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!